Let's talk about Welsh rugby. I know we could be here all night with you on that uh, topic at the moment, given what you've been tweeting recently, oh, Shanks, but <laughs> you started a bit of a storm. Well, there, was, there was no URC games that weekend, was there? So I was bored. Um, <laughs> but, you know, I tweeted it because I watch the URC. I, I don't watch, you know, academy rugby. I don't watch underage rugby. That's not my job. My job is to be a pundit for, for Premier Sport and to, to comment on what I see. And at the moment, I'm not seeing enough quality. There's not that strength and depth. I don't think in the regions, you know, we, we can see that in the results. I think, you know, you look at that, that Welsh team, there's quality players in that Welsh team and there are some young quality players coming through, but I just don't think there's enough of them. And that was my point. And um, I, I think we're a bit of a, a crossroads now with, with Welsh rugby, you know, the, the regions are complaining, there's not enough funding, there's not enough help. Um, I think so long we've relied on the Welsh national team to sort of paper over the cracks of what's happening with the regions. And that's, that's happened, you know, for the last 10 years, you know, I think, Wales have won two Grand Slams and uh, and two championships, but not haven't done much really in any knockout stages in Europe. And you know, Scarlets have won uh, the the URC back in 2017, so, so not enough. And even Tom, I think over the last couple of weeks, with the Scarlets finishing bottom of their pool in Europe, and you know, Cardiff not making the playoffs either. You know, the regions aren't doing particularly well in that competition, so I think it heaps even more pressure onto the URC when it comes around again. Yeah, and the youngsters that are coming through, you know, you're probably not getting the best of them because the regions are performing, so we're not seeing the best of what players can offer. Um, so it is a bit of a worry. Yeah, we are producing good players and, and quality players, but I just don't think there's enough of them coming through at the moment. Do you think it's possible that the that the national team has, has overperformed and that has sort of blinded people to, to the bigger issues? Yeah, maybe, and I think... You know, had the had the national team not done so well in recent years, say in the last 10 years, then then maybe there'd be a lot more of a focus on, on regional rugby and Wales. But because they have, you know, it's yeah. things have been going well. You know, it's you sort of forget about the regions. You know, whatever happens in the regions happens. But come Six Nations time or autumn, autumn international time, Wales are doing well, and everyone sort of feeds off that. If for Irish viewers who don't watch as much Welsh rugby as you should do, uh, can you sort of define what you feel are the are the issues? Why aren't they watching Welsh rugby as well as I want to say first? Um, the issues, I, I think funding plays a massive part in that and when that funding is, is distributed. Um, you know, I think rules like the 60 cap rule do work to keep the best players in Wales. I, th I think we need a better competitive league and if we want it to be more competitive, you need some big oversize, uh, overseas signings, which we have done in the past. You know, you look at Xavier Rush's, Tia yeah. Tia's, Marty Hollers, Justin Marshall's, all these quality players, but it's difficult to attract players like that now because the regions aren't performing that well. And, and say someone like Vermeulen, who's come to Ulster, you know, I don't think Welsh regions would be able to offer way more than other teams. Uh, so it comes down to, you know, what environment he's coming into. Is it a winning environment? Where does he potentially think he's going to win silverware? And at the moment, we're, we're not quite there. We're not competitive enough. We'll just, the odd good win. We're just on the regions. If there was two regions instead of four, would there be enough funding to attract players like Dwayne Vermeulen? You'd have better teams because yeah. obviously those four now go into two. But then it happened with regional rugby. And you're, you know, there's always going to be alienated fans then because where do the two teams, where they're called, where do they play? Um, who's going to watch them? You know, if, if you're bringing, say, Cardiff and Newport together, what do you call them? Where do yeah. you play? You know, yeah. you don't want to alienate too many fans. Um, so it could be an option, but then the league below has to be really competitive. So there can't be too much of a gap between, say, two super teams and the league below. You know, that gap has to be bridged. It has to be a competitive league there. So a lot of questions yeah. um, that need to be answered and need to be found. And it's good that it's come out now. It's, it's highlighting it, but there's a lot of work to do behind the scenes.